Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. It is extremely early in the morning here, at least for me, so I'm just waking up a little bit groggy still, but today I am super duper excited because we are going to be doing one of my favorite videos of the entire month, which is an Ipsy showdown. Ding ding! I guess I could have edited in that sound instead of making it with my mouth. So this video is our Ipsy versus Ipsy versus Ipsy video, and uh, I'm pretty excited to go ahead and get on into it. If you guys have seen my first Ipsy video this month, I went ahead and opened up one of the bags and tried it on, but today we're going to be opening up the other two bags and comparing it to that bag and doing a makeup look with them and comparing the makeup look as well. So for those of you who might be new here. First of all, hello, welcome, very excited to have you. Think about subscribing if you wouldn't mind. We do also have a giveaway going on right now. I will link that down below for you guys. But in this video, I'm going to be comparing three different Ipsy bags, three drastically different uh, profiles. So the first bag I have is my regular bag, which I want to be very makeup heavy with like neutral makeup. And then I have my adventurous bag, which is like my alter ego bag. This bag is set up for a person who has blonde hair, violet eyes, loves crazy adventurous makeup colors. And then the third bag is set up for a person who really wants skincare and doesn't really want makeup at all. Like <laughs> get it away makeup. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and run through my regular bag. So my regular bag is the bag I've had for super duper long. It has all my accurate like profile preferences. My accurate hair color, eye color, skin color, all that good stuff. So you guys, this bag I thought I was really gonna like because it's like super duper makeup heavy. That's what I like desire in a bag. But I ended up really not liking a lot of the products. So the first thing I received is this Tarte Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. And this unfortunately ended up giving me quite a bit of flashback. I looked quite haunting um, in the photo that I took with this. I might give it another try with a little bit of a different application to see if that helps. Then next up I received this brow pencil which I've somehow already lost the cap to the spoolie. I don't know how I managed to do these things. This is a brow pencil from the brand Sugar. I got mine in the shade Zo2 Taupe Tom. First I did not like this at all. For some reason it just it wouldn't make a mark on my hand. Like it's very it's very dry, but I have to say that it does a little bit of a better job in the brow. I don't know why. I'm guessing it has all these little like thingies to cling on to so you can actually get some color out of it, but it's it's quite dry. <laughs> then I also received this adorable little pink sponge here from SL Miss Glam, and this I wasn't a fan of at all. It is really little and I was hoping it would expand and kind of soften up in water, but unfortunately it really didn't too much. Instead of like nicely blending stuff out, it kind of just left like craters wherever I poked it. So this wasn't exactly my favorite either. However, I did get one thing that I ended up really liking in the bag, which is this little tiny Nomad eyeshadow. I thought this was super cute. I like the adorable little packaging that would focus over here. So this is like a goldeny bronze uh, eyeshadow and I think it's a really really pretty color. It's nicely pigmented. So this was definitely my favorite thing out of the entire bag and now I'll show you my least favorite thing. Some people said it looked good on camera but I don't know you guys. I felt weird. <laughs> I felt super weird wearing this. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cairo and this just made my lips just disappear. On my hand it has a bit of a pinky tone but on my face it just it looked like a blank slate. So that was my regular bag. And like I said, it's super makeup heavy. I got a beauty tool, like that should have been my favorite bag ever, but unfortunately the products didn't really work out for me. I'm hoping what comes in my next bag here will still be very makeup heavy. Plus I hope they're like super crazy colors. I want a blue eyeshadow, I want a red lip. I want to look like that one lady but we will see. So next up here, I have my adventurous bag. Alrighty, so this is my adventurous bag and this person is supposed to have blonde hair, violet eyes, absolutely loves makeup, is super comfortable with makeup, but only wants like very bright colors. <laughs> Okie dokie here, let's go ahead and pick out the first thing, which is in a little box. Alrighty, so the first thing I have in here is actually a nail lacquer and um, Oh wow, I have like sticky stuff attached to my nails, which makes them look even worse. Anyway, I never ever ever paint my nails, but I could go for a very nice nail polish. This is supposed to be an organic infused nail lacquer with a gel effect, 
So hopefully it's really good. This is from a a Adacy. Adacy. I never know how to say this. I'm hoping it's a really like crazy color. Oh, okay. This is actually pretty cute. It's kind of like a like a periwinkle maybe. It's definitely on the blue side with maybe a little bit of purple. So I, I actually think this is a pretty cute color. Kind of goes, well, not really. I was going to say kind of goes in my shirt, but it clashes just a bit. So, so far I'm happy to see a bit of color in my adventures bag. So off to a good start. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I just looked down in the bag and I saw this. This is yet again, yes, it is another NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cairo. So, so I guess unless there is another lip color in one of these two bags, I'm gonna be wearing Cairo again today. So that's great. <laughs> of course, I won't actually like use this one. I'll just go ahead and use the one that I've already tried on and pass this on to somebody else who thinks that they could make it look beautiful. I'm sure there are people out there that this would look beautiful on. It's just, it's not me. Next, I have... <laughs> Darn it, okay. Next I have yet another smooth operator, a uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. And again, um, not exactly my favorite item here, but I'll try to put it on in like a different application today. Maybe see if that'll help it out a little bit. But this particular little sample, I'll go ahead and pass on to somebody else. I'll warn them about the flashback though first. I wouldn't want them to be like in a wedding or something and then have like their face look like a mime. Alrighty, next in here, there's a little squeezy tube. Oh, this is actually really cute. This is a painting therapy pack from Tony Moly. It is a sebum control black color clay but I really really like the packaging it looks like a little like paint tube from the craft store I think that's really really adorable Tony Moly in their packaging it's it's just always so cute I really really like it Alrighty, the very last thing of here I'm hoping this is an eyeshadow in like green or blue or something oh my gosh I think it actually is <laughs> I'm really excited all right so this is from Elizabeth Mott this is a pop eyeshadow in the shade what does that say? Mermaid teal. So that's very exciting for me. <laughs> I don't really know why on a regular basis I don't wear blue eyeshadow, but my blonde haired violet eye ultra ego apparently does. Ooh, that is actually really pretty. Alrighty, so this is mermaid teal on the back of my hand. It seems to be pretty pigmented. It was a little bit stiff in the pan, so I wasn't sure if it would be. But I think this is a very pretty color. We're getting a lot of like bluish stuff going on today. <coughs> This also has just like a bit of a shift to it. So it's like kind of blue, but then it shifts a little bit to a more like greenish color. So this I'm actually pretty excited about and I think it matches the adventurous profile perfectly. Alrighty guys, that was everything in my adventurous bag. And I think the profile goes pretty well with it actually. We have a nice pop of color with the eye, a nice pop of color with the nail lacquer, literally zero pigment with <laughs> the lip color, but it was very makeup heavy, which I was really excited about. That fits the profile nicely. Alrighty let's go ahead and move on into the very last bag here which is my skincare bag Alrighty, so here is the third and final bag. Let's go ahead and get on into this. Alrighty, so the first thing in my skincare bag actually looks like skincare of some sort, so that's a good start. This is Pure Heels by Nature Village Sin Scintilla 65 Green Tea Pack, and it's supposed to be calming. I don't fully know what this is. I'm wondering if it's like a little like mask kind of folded up in here. And I did receive two of these, which is nice. Alrighty, next up, just glancing into the bag here, I've seen some products that look super familiar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them out. Next up, we have yet another tart smooth operator Amazonian clay finishing powder. It's like the universe just always wants me to look ghostly. So this yet again, I'm going to pass on to somebody else that I will warn first. Then next up, I see another NYX soft matte lip cream, but I think this is actually in a different shade. Hallelujah. This is in the shade London and it looks much more like brown. <laughs> I typically don't wear like a very brown lip, but I'm just happy it has some pigment to it and it's not going to make me look like my lips just ran away. I do have to say though, these NYX Matte Soft Lip Creams smell fantastic. They smell like cake. It makes me very hungry actually. But uh, here is this one. I swatched it on the back of my hand. It's very brown. It looks like melted milk chocolate, but I think it'll give a little bit more color to my lips at least, which I'm thankful for. Alrighty, going back in, I see yet another familiar product. So I have yet another sugar uh, eyebrow pencil in the shade, say, say, 
in the same shade taupe tom so the same for the other products i'm going to go ahead and pass this on to somebody else save it for a giveaway or something like that i feel like i probably won't even get through the full thing of this what <laughs> where did that even go <laughs> It like launched out of my hand. I didn't hear it hit. I didn't, what, what happened? Anyway, <laughs> what I was saying is that I don't think I'll get through the full stick of the other taupe tom. I'm still just so confused. So that one I'll pass on to somebody else who could get some use out of it. And is that it? Oh no, there's one last thing in here. <laughs> oh, okay. This I actually like. I really like a Fab Beauty or First Aid Beauty. So this is the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum and this is supposed to replenish, smooth, and soften. So this I am excited to try out. However, it's very lightweight, like super duper lightweight. So I don't, is there anything in here? <laughs> okay, so there's only about like this much here in this whole little bottle. I think that's kind of a small amount to put in quite a large little sample bottle, but that's just me. Alrighty guys, that was everything in my skincare bag and I think it fit the profile okay. It did come with two skincare items as opposed to my other bags, which only came with one or none. So that's, that's a little better. Alrighty guys, that was everything for all three of my bags. Let me know what you guys thought. Which one did you think met the profile best? Which one was your favorite? Now I'm moving on to the try on portion. If you guys wanna stick around for that. If not, I totally understand and I'll see y'all in my next video. But if you would like to stick around, I'm going to go ahead and put some of this stuff on my face. Alrighty, so since I received so many of the same products, I am going to be reusing a lot of stuff I did in my first look. We'll still compare them at the end though to see if there are any differences. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and try this Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. My face is so dry right now, so this will definitely help out, or at least I hope it does. Oh, that absorbs super duper quickly. It smells like water almost. Alrighty, on top of this, I'm also going to be using the Ofra Cool as a Cucumber Primer. Again, I did receive this from Ofra free for review and it has just been the primer I've been using lately because my skin is so dry. Alrighty, next up I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear, my favorite foundation ever. This is in the shade 1 in 1 and I'll be using my Ricky sponge to blend this out. I did receive this foundation for review from Estee Lauder but it is my favorite foundation. I've been using it for so long. Man, you guys, my forehead wrinkles have been out of control recently. I need to like subdue my facial expressions because I'm constantly like looking insane but I can't help it my face just bends weird. Alrighty foundation is done I'm going to be concealing a bit with this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea concealer. Alrighty and now with the very lightest of hand I'm going to set just my eye area with the Tarte powder here because I already look ghostly enough I don't feel like looking extra ghostly today. All right, so I'll lightly, lightly set my eyelids. Oh dear, it's going everywhere. Okay, what is going on with your eyelid? I thought you said you're going to lightly set it. Okay, that is enough of that. I'll set my face with another powder and then I'll be right back. I'm going to bronze up really fast and you guys, I have hit like full pan on this bronzer. This is the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Bali Sands. I don't think I've ever used this fully a makeup product before. <laughs> Gotta try to shrink that forehead just a little bit. All right, and I'm going to use this Ofra blush in the shade Bellini. I also received this blush free from review for Ofra. Oh, I probably shouldn't have gone too heavy with a blush since I have blue eyeshadow to put on. Oh well. Alrighty, now I'm going to use my little sugar thing again and uh, spoolie out my brows and we'll see how this goes. Oh, did you finally notice? Did you just now notice? Excellent work, really fantastic work. I just think it's amazing how much better this works in the brow than trying to swatch it on the back of the hand. It's not exactly as bold as I would like. I like my brows to look like they've been drawn by like a comic book artist. <laughs> Alrighty guys, and now for the eyes. So the only eye product that I received in both of these bags is the blue eyeshadow right here. And uh, I'm going to supplement that I think with my soft glam palette. I never work with blue eyeshadow really. I don't quite know what to do with it. So this is just gonna be an experiment. So I guess first I'm gonna put a transition color down. Uh, we'll go with this one, this one here. I don't know, that, is that too orange? I don't know. But how are you guys doing? What are you up to today? I feel like I have so, so very much to do today. My whole family is coming in. My cousin's graduating tonight and then I'm graduating tomorrow at 9.30 in the morning. I have to be there at 8 a.m. So that's gonna be so much fun. Okay, so that's down. Now I'm just gonna go in with this blue and just 
put it on, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna use the same brush because of being lazy, and I'm gonna blend this up to the brown, and then I'll like pack some on the lid, and we'll see if that works. Oh, okay, yep, I got blue all over my face. Alrighty, so that isn't super pigmented applied like that, so I'm going to find my concealer and put a little bit down on my eye, and then pack this on top of it and see if that works. Alrighty, and with my finger, I'm going to go ahead and pack on this blue. I think I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line a little bit. Alrighty, so I'm going to do the other eye really quick and I'll be right back. Eyeliner is on and I kind of accidentally just kept going and going and going. You can almost barely see the blue anymore. My eyes are fully open. Now I'm going to be using this Monsieur Big Mascara from Lancome. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I'm getting a little bit low on it. This particular bottle I did receive free for review for from Lancome. Sorry I have to say that every time I review something that I got for free. I just want to let you guys know like that's where it came from. <laughs> but of course I don't have to give like good reviews or anything. These are just things that I really like and use often. Alrighty guys, I think we're finally on the final step here. I'm going to go in with this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and I'm really hoping this London shade is going to work out a bit better than the other one. Let's go ahead and see though. Oh dear, okay. Okay, and here is the final look with everything from my adventurous bag mixed in with a little bit from my skincare bag. I actually like the blue more than I thought I would. It's not that like typical like blue eyeshadow you think of when you think of like really bad blue eyeshadow. It's a very pretty like aqua color. It has a bit of that green shift in it. So the eyeshadow I actually really like. This lip color I like so much more than the other one. It's not my favorite ever, but it definitely doesn't like wash me out, I don't think anyway, nearly as much as that other one did. That other one was scary looking. But for me personally, I think I actually like this look better than the one that I was able to create from my regular bag, the one that is supposed to be like me to a T. It's supposed to know me the best. But I think this one is a little bit more like vibrant. I have a bit more color to my face, so I'm actually pretty happy with it. I'll go ahead and put like kind of a side by side of this look versus the look I did with my regular bag, and I'll let you guys vote down below. Let me know which one you like better. And all right, guys, that is everything that I have for you all today. Thank you so much for sticking with me through another Ipsy showdown or Ipsy versus Ipsy versus Ipsy. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. You guys don't even know. We do currently have a giveaway going on right now. If you would like to win the Gothographic collection from Wet n Wild, you can go ahead and click the giveaway link down below in the description and that'll take you to that video. And yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!